I am Jessica. My husband and I are on a used bookstore tour of Berkeley for our anniversary today. My name is Coda, and I came in here because I'm a real, I'm a fan of bookstores. I have a large book collection and I'm always looking for other books I enjoy. My name is Becca and I just came in because I love bookstores and little ones of course are the best so um, every time I see a little bookstore I have to pop in. Mm -hmm. Uh, I've also never been in here and I know they have a cat and I'm a big fan of cats so I wanted to come in and see uh, what those cats were like. My name is Chloe. My name is Sophia. My name is Kylie. I just like reading a lot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think reading so fun because when you first get into the book, uh, when you start reading it, it gets super exciting and you just want to keep reading mm -hmm. and reading it. And uh, and yeah. here there's so many different types There's of books a variety, you can pick. Like a huge yeah. yeah. I mean, I'm always shopping for new books, even though I have a huge to read pile at home. But, you know, um, I'm a reader all the time and I just enjoy it. <laughs> like well, Huckleberry, um, Finn. Huckleberry Finn. Finn and yeah. then Heidi. And uh, yeah, we were and gonna get Heidi, Heidi and Huckleberry Finn. And the series. Um, we just wanted to read something new, new. and mm -hmm. classic. Yeah. You know, I like sections, like, you know, the self-help or, you know, sometimes just fiction. And to find something, often I'll just try something just totally random. Just, you know, which you can't do really, or I can't do online, you know. I like a new discovery, really. Um, you can't really do that online. Uh, find something like a nice book cover, just something that you didn't know you were looking for that jumps out at you. I was smelling the book. Sometimes they smell good, yeah, I don't know. For me, with books, I want to touch a book before I buy it. I want to flip through the pages. The books, like the the feel of the book speaks to me and helps me know which one I want. I think um, a lot of people, they say that's like touching the books and feeling the books. Like, I, it sounds very cliche, but I think I definitely felt that today. I'm uh, intrigued by the how trapped I am by a cover of a book sometimes. Like, you know, yeah. You know, like, can't judge a book by its cover, but you do, you know? And not all the stories are the same, and like, it's like their life, and you can feel their emotions. And sometimes I feel like I'm in the book, like, yeah. so it's really cool. I don't know, it's just something about, like, the hardcover, and then cracking it open, and then for me, I'm a very visual person, because I do photo and design, so I think I'm seeing how all the inks play out on this uh, page, because it's different color spaces for photo and uh, for print-wise, so I think just seeing all of those was very interesting. There's something about selecting a book that is more visceral than online looking at something. It's almost like you're looking at like canned soup online or something. There's, there's, it's not, it doesn't resonate to me as a book, whereas a book, you know, and that could also be because that's how I grew up. New books, I, I'll tend to go online, if I may say, but um, used books, you know, it's, I always like getting a nice deal, we're all broke here, you know. I don't, I've never bought a book to read online. I just, I can't connect with the, um, I don't know if it's the interface of the digital media or whatever. I know that on my home screen, because it's so long, I can't yeah. like read. And then I've tried Kindles and that, which the kids have used, but, I just don't, I just prefer that in-your-face print, you know, and I just can scan it. It's just something very organic about it. Like usually, I just like go on a PDF online. It's easy, it's portable, especially as students. Um, like e-textbooks and stuff are very accessible. I think the shift is probably just the fact that everybody likes to buy things online because they don't have to go to the store and talk to people. I hate to say it, but I really think that's how people are now. Um, it just, you know, it comes with the digital age and being on their phones all the time and not conversing with other people. And so their shopping has gone to online and for most people that's all of their shopping. But it's not like say we're going online together looking at books, like we <laughs> yeah. go to a bookstore. Yeah. yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> I would rather come into the bookstore because I like looking at the covers and I like looking at like the art and I like being able to like flip through. I don't mind buying books online, especially if it's something that like I couldn't find in person, but I'd rather check a couple bookstores. Obviously it's convenient to go online. Um, but it's also convenient to go to your local store and have it right there as soon as you want it or to have your visual, you know, experience jog you to grab something like this. I would never have bought this on Amazon, so. I went with him 
because we're friends, but I feel like it does, it definitely creates a conversation between oh, yeah. people as well. Yeah. He's able to actually like visually show me and share with me things that he finds interesting. Reading is the gateway to all knowledge. It, it just, there's no substitute. You know, there's videos and this and that, but reading really is. And when you get into that click, of reading, it just takes you away. It puts you in a different place.